What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm here with Gabriel. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. And you are working on a game called Dungeon Land. So what is Dungeon Land about exactly? Dungeon Land is a theme park for adventures. Um, Dungeon Master, it really wants to, to get his money worth of it. So instead of trying to kill the, the, his adventurers, he just brings them to this park and made a theme park to kill them. So essentially, they're paying, the adventurers are now paying the Dungeon Master yeah, to try and finance, kill them? They're financing his stuff, so why not? Why not? If they die, it's a win-win. So uh, either they give it some money, uh, they die, and so I'm happy with it. There you go. Yep. So um, you, you, you're doing something really interesting here. Like, you have an action-adventure hack-and-slash game going on, but then you also have, underneath that, you have a strategy game going on. Like, can you explain a little bit about how that kind of gameplay works? Yeah, sure. The idea here is to have uh, the... Uh, a mashup between actually the PC gamer and, and uh, the video and the console gamer kind of thing. So we have the adventurers going into the park as an action game and a very hack and slash kind of stuff. It, we like to call it a, a mashup between Gauntlet and Left 4 Dead with the action part of it. And then on top of it, we want to have the fourth player playing as a dungeon master. So he would be playing a, a RTS like kind of uh, play style. On top of it, throwing monsters and traps and everything on at, at the characters, at the uh, adventurers. So uh, that's pretty much it. We want to really have uh, nail down the, the asymmetrical gameplay with it to, and just have fun with it. That's awesome. So while like three friends are going around and just trying to battle their way through a dungeon, like one of, one of their other friends is off somewhere being a yeah. dick and just yeah, trying to destroy him. A total dick. He's going to have this evil laughs and uh, fireballs and everything. And, and maybe we're really trying to get it there, uh, give him the, the, the ability to come into the gameplay as one of the bosses of the, the of the game, so you could be playing as a dragon, as a beholder, as you know, whatever we can come up with. That would be awesome because I think one of the major problems with boss battles is they're always you always get the pattern down, and then once you get the pattern down, it, it's every battle's the same. Yeah, having, having a human player on the other side is going to be pretty awesome. Like we are having a lot of fun with the prototyping right now, so I think you guys are going to like it. Awesome. So, how do what do you guys do? What are you guys doing to balance the game? Because I imagine, like you know, if you're a dungeon master, you just have like all the power you want. But like you know, in a game, like a video game like this, you can't just give them the everything in the kitchen sink and then like be like go to town because everyone would lose all the time, right? Yeah. As I told you, like we're prototyping it right now, so it's uh, we're trying to get that right balance where everybody have fun, so you don't get screwed in the first first you know kind of ten minutes of the thing. And the dungeon master really, really feels powerful. So the idea right now, like the way it's, it is right now, is that we have a meter, that we have a, a, a economy system for him. So it's, it needs to to damage the guys in order to get uh, more money to get his stuff. And then while he does that, he would you know get a meter that fills up, and when he has it, he would be able to come in to the game and PVP as one of the bosses. So the idea. The idea is to have the bosses um, be customizable too. So, like, if you're a dragon, dra dragon dungeon master, you have your dragon, and you can, you know, come come into the gameplay as a freaking awesome dragon. Make your make your own pimp ass dragon. Yep. There you go. Awesome. So, like the we, we we just had some hands on time with it, and the thing that really struck out for us is you have these three characters: the rogue, the warrior, and the mage. And you've really got to use all of their abilities in tandem to get through the levels. Like, even if we just like started hacking away at monsters, if we got too separated too quick, we were like dying off like that. Yeah, that's the core of the experience for us. Uh, really, we really want it to be a co-op heavy, really heavy experience. Like, you really have to use all your skills in the way. You play is affected by the choices that your uh, fellows, your friends did when they picked up their characters because they have very different skills. We're not gonna go like with the uh, gear kind of system where you get three percent more damage or you know something a little bit different. We really want to change the system. So every time you get new gear, you get new skills, you get uh, uh, stuff that really changes the way you play and the other guys play too. So as you saw, like if you just go out there and just press X like crazy, you're gonna get slaughtered like badly. Yeah, I'll, and my personal favorite thing, you can kill sheep. It gets super bloody. You're just murdering random sheep. What's that all about? That's one of the main features, actually. Yeah, we're advertising it and killing sheep. Like, we're, Actually, we're going to have the sheep be a integral part of the design where we're going to have them you know, fire sheep, acid sheep, and ice sheep. So you can throw them around and do some crazy stuff with them. So they're probably going to come into the system as a, another layer of uh, fun and uh, strategic thinking. 
Awesome. Danger sheep. Yeah. They are. <laughs> Sounds killer, man. So uh, when are you guys looking to launch this? Uh, this year, at some point. Sometime down the line? Yep. Yeah, you, yep. guys, you guys are still in development? It's 2012. It's 2012. Like the, the ver what you saw here is pre-alpha. So we're prototyping Dungeon Master mode, and we're probably going to have it running soon. Awesome, man. Well, the game is looking killer. I cannot wait to play more and get my hands on some action cheap. Actually, I, I, think, I think you guys, like you did play pretty well. It went pretty far. Oh, I mean, thank you. you. Play through. Yeah, I think I can guarantee that me and my cameraman will be checking this out when it comes out. That's two copies sold. That's great. Ching, all right. Well, there you go. We just bought you guys a sandwich. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, thanks so much for talking with us today, Gabe. Thank you very much.